Hi everyone, and welcome back to another unscripted video. Today we'll be talking a bit about the in-game routine, and we'll also be talking about some tips and tricks that you can hopefully use to make some of these things a bit more easily manageable. Um, now we'll be talking about three different topics mainly. We'll be talking about the summer memories, the place where you get the crime brands, we'll talk about the Oblivion Pit, and we'll talk a bit about the Broken Frontline. So my routine usually just starts off with me doing my raids for the summer memories and getting my crime brands. Now, if you're just unlocking this, um, I highly recommend a specific way of clearing this, because the most important thing with this last level of story memories is that you just unlock the raid function. Now, you can see in this team setup, actually, uh, this is a really old setup now, I haven't gone back to this for like in ages, but the main idea here is that we completely ignore this bottom lane here. And we do this because, like, in Patanoa, you don't need to perfectly clear in order to unlock the raid, fu raid function. So, if I just clear with this team, I will still have raid. Now, for some of you, this may even be too much of a difficulty spike still. And in those cases, I say don't be scared of just using your friends. Like, just use some uh, assists and hopefully you get those like free clears. And hopefully you don't need to do this too often. Um, but yeah, unlock the raid function for this as soon as possible. Ignore a lane completely if you have to. I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah. That is the first part of the routine. Go in here. Get no gold crown brands as usual. No worries. Um, the next thing is that we usually do Oblivion Pit. And here you actually alway, already see the first tip I'm going to give. Um, as you can see, it says that I'm currently in an Oblivion Pit and I also have an attempt left. This is because you actually don't need to complete the attempt in order for you to get the daily reset. Um, in this case, you can see that I can just finish this one off and then I can start a new one. And this is just really nice in case I don't have time or I really didn't feel like doing a Oblivion Pit. Um, but that's usually what I'll be doing today. Or at this point, after doing the Summer Memories. And for this, I highly recommend um, getting some sort of like full order team down as soon as possible. Though, of course, this is not completely achievable for most of you um, at the beginning. But you can still use the other trick here. Um, with having one attempt stored. Um, just enter it and you don't need to clear it at that point. Next up we have Broken Frontline and yes I've been slacking a bit don't worry about that. Um, but yeah for Broken Frontline I'll probably be doing a bit more specialized videos in the future but there are some general advice I can give. Um, first of all I highly recommend climbing the risks as soon as possible. Um, given that you just get more cubes and you can go even with the rest of the risk kind of easily. The other thing is the um, priority in, co in case of like what you want to buy here. I don't recommend buying the Shadow Battlefront because you can actually get them through the selected crime brands that you get in uh, some of the, I think, mission quests or story quests. So don't buy that, but get it through the, the selectors. Definitely get a set of the Embrace. I think this is the highest priority that you should be getting. And I would also get one set of Nightmare Revelation. I would not recommend getting Soul Rift. I still don't have it. It is a bit of a um, a trap, I would say. Um, in places where you think it would be good, it's actually not that good um, because of its defense de percentage defense threat. Um, not working super well where we would want to defense threat. Yeah, and of course you want to unlock these as soon as possible as well, but I wouldn't prioritize them over Embrace of the Dead or uh, Nightmare. Maybe Nightmare, depending on your specific situation. Now, the next piece of advice I would like to give for a Broken Frontline is one that I see a lot of people actually, I think, do slightly wrong, which is that they play on uh, 2x speed, which you can see I've done here, actually, because I've done the Blooming Pit. Um, but please play on 1x speed and make sure to use your pause button. The pause button is a really useful tool, um, as you can even use it during the boss spawn to get rid of the pesky danger sign that comes up that sometimes blocks you from moving your units. Um, I would just use it at, as often as you need to, like just, it's a great tool just to get a, uh, get a grip on the situation, think about what do you need to do next, right? In this case, I would say to myself, yeah, I need to use Serpent's Crime Brand and then start moving her and use um, Hamel's Crime Brand as well. So yeah, use the pause button as much as possible, and also restarts. Do not consume attempts. So just keep restarting whenever you need to, whenever you feel like it. It's, yeah, it's a really valuable tool for that. 
And I think that about covers all of the small tips and tricks. That is what I will be doing. Like, usually that's my in-game routine. Do my summer memories, do my pet, and do a couple of broken frontline runs. So, yeah, I hope that helped some people. Um, again, let me know what you would like to hear about next, if you want to hear something about it. If you like this more unscripted, more, let's say, like, abundant um, video-style format. And, yeah, hope it helps someone. Bye-bye.